a home delivery up the Thames. Being pulled on a barge, a new station for the Royal National Lifeboat Institution, making its way through London on the river, heading towards Waterloo Bridge. This is a really important day. It's really exciting to get the new station. Tower is the busiest lifeboat station in the whole of the RNLI. Last year, we had 735 shouts from this station to help people on the river. So to have a base that is stable, that has the facilities we need, the modern infrastructure is really going to help us save lives on the river. The RNLI is essentially the emergency service on water, a charity run by volunteers. So we get involved in all sorts of shouts, broken down boats, boats that have hit things, medical emergencies on boats, animals. That's an interesting one. If we don't go and rescue that animal, then it's likely a member of the public will, and that will create another casualty situation. But the old Tower lifeboat station was built in 1860 and was retired after more than 160 years of service. This is a remarkably historic day for the RNLI generally, but specifically for Tower Lifeboat Station. What you see behind us is the replacement Tower Lifeboat Station. It's going to be here for 100 years. That's why we're here, to celebrate it arriving. There are four lifeboat stations on the Thames. They were put here about 22 years ago following the Marchioness disaster. So it's a purpose-built station designed by the crew, for the crew, fit for the next 100 years. This is as close as we can get to the station at the moment, but this is the culmination of five years' work and includes more than 400 tonnes of steel and comes at a cost of £9 million. It's not every day a new home is delivered up the river, but once moored and secured into place, Tower Lifeboat Station will be back in action next month. Rags Martel, ITV News, Waterloo Bridge.